For today's ride, we are at QECP for a solo ride. Solo rides are not always my favorite thing, but none of my friends are out riding today, so here I am, and I'm just gonna blat straight into the steep stuff for a bit of excitement, and uh, the off-piece stuff too. So this particular trail is a new one to me, so I can't tell you where it is or anything about it as it's uh, an off-piece one, but definitely gonna be hitting that one again. Well, this is hard packed with a sprinkling of water. This last section is one of the more familiar ones. Still can't tell you where it is, but a bit of a surprise at the end of it. Decidedly unpleasant. Oh my god, the car. I didn't mean to take the car. The camera just. Sorry. <laughs> no idea you were there. Sorry. <laughs> So now it's into summer and we've got a lot of greenery. It is not so easy to see so far, but it does just go to show how quickly you can stop even down a steep drop in. Wow, this is where my ride really starts to uh, perk up. Bumped into Mike from MTB Fanatics and well, this is where I really, really started to have some fun today. And then you join the group. Great, great bunch of guys, and they're really going to show you around on some pretty fantastic trails. So, this is another entirely new trail to me, so going down it blind is always quite fun sometimes. Um, and it's got some pretty cool little features on there, so yeah, I mean, I'm absolutely loving this. It worked. <laughs> I was like, I can't get back. <laughs> oh, I did the same as you, but <laughs> I've never been down any of these ones. So I'm feeling like this bike is in serious and need of some love. The fork feels terrible. Feels like even with all the damping off, it's too slow. I've lost half of my gears because the gear cable is hanging on for dear life. The rear shock feels terrible, and on top of all of that, something rather unpleasant going on with the bearings. The trail pixies have been extremely busy at QECP, and this is yet another new trail to me. It's been a little while since I've ridden there, and well, there's a lot, a lot of new stuff that's been built. So I hope really enjoying this ride so far. Now, this one I know, and it is a good, good fun trail.
Oh, my rib, the tire's flat. I'm doing it anyway. Now this one I don't know and I'm going to make an attempt at keeping up with Mike. Well, you know, I'm not a huge distance behind but definitely not keeping up but maybe when I know it a little bit better. Okay. Yep, yeah, mate, I've, there's a whole bunch of ones that I haven't been down or combinations that I haven't been down before so I was right with you until the fire road on that one and then there's that off camber section yeah. and I ended up way left Mike had a flat so a brief stop to repair and it seems like he's pretty fast even with a flat front tyre yeah. so this has turned into an MTB fanatic drive but my bike is slowly dying I've lost most of the gears the rear triangle is creaking really badly my rig is says worn out. The fork feels terrible. Um, yeah, well that's enough. So this is my high bike and it's pretty poorly maintained. I've been riding a lot, maintaining little and working very hard. So it's in pretty bad shape at the moment, but um, it's got the rain now to ride and this one's going to come off the road for a little while and uh, get a bit of loving so meantime it's not, it's not stopping me from riding as aggressively as i can and let's black down the blue So that was an MTB Fanatics QECP group ride. Um, absolutely awesome. That wasn't how it was planned today. Today it started off as a bit of a doom and a gloomer. My normal mates weren't out and uh, thought I was going to be riding on my own. But uh, that was absolutely epic. Thanks to the Fanatics. Mm -hmm.